Well hello everybody and welcome to another Family Sunday School. My name is Tom and I'm the youth pastor at Christ Church Hermanas and it is so good to see you again. We are going through a series of parables in the Bible and parables are a lesson with a very important message that we need to learn and use in our lives every day. Jesus told many parables and today the parable we're looking at is about prayer. Now in Luke chapter 18 verses 1 to 8 Jesus told the parable of the persistent widow now did you know that Jesus wants us to pray he wants us to pray confidently he wants us to pray seriously like we mean it and to help us Jesus told the story now there was a judge in Jesus now in Jesus story there was a judge now a judge decides who is telling the truth. He listens to both sides of the argument and then he decides who is telling the truth. The judge in Jesus' story was a very proud man. And this is what he looks like. Order! Order in the court! It is me, Mr. Proud! The judge. Judge in Jesus' story was a very proud man and this is why. I am the judge. I do not care what people think. I don't even care what God thinks about me. Hello, my name is Lillian. And Lillian lived all alone, but she had a neighbor. One day while Lillian was baking some bread and looked the other way, her neighbor came and stole some bread. Lillian turned just in time to see her neighbor run away and she was upset. So she went to the judge and called out, Judge! Judge! Please help me! My neighbor has stolen my bread! He is a thief! Please punish him! But the judge looked at Lillian and said, Well, the judge actually said nothing. He shrugged his shoulders and sent her away. Lillian had no choice. She had to go. Because the judge did not want to help. The next day, Lillian was baking some bread again. While her neighbor walked past, Lillian looked the other way and her neighbor crept in and stole her bread. Lillian turned just in time to see her neighbor run away. She was upset. So she marched back to the judge and said, Judge! Judge! My neighbor has stolen my bread again! Please do something! He is a thief! Punish him! Judge looked at Lillian again and said, no, I am not interested. And now go away. And Lillian couldn't do anything, so she left again. But the next day, while she was baking some bread, her neighbor came again and stole Lillian's bread. Lillian turned around just in time to see her neighbor run away. And she was so upset, so she, mar so she marched back to the judge and said, Hello, Mr. Judge. It's me again, Lillian. I would like to tell you about something. My neighbor has stolen my bread again. He's a thief. Punish him. But again, the judge said, not my problem and sent her away. But he realized some. I can try and send this Lillian lady away. But she keeps coming back. If I don't do something, she'll never leave me alone. She's gonna wear me out. Fine. I will punish your neighbor and I will make sure he stops stealing your bread. In our story today, we see the poor woman asked for help again and again and again. Eventually, the bad judge answered her. If a bad judge eventually puts things right, how much more will a good judge do? A good judge, like our Father 
in heaven. As his children, we can come to him confidently. Do you know what that word confident means? It means that we can come to God trusting him and knowing that he will hear us. Our father in heaven is good. So we can pray to him when people hurt us because God in the end will put everything right. And sometimes that doesn't mean that it's going to happen in our lifetime. But one day when they meet Jesus, they will have to answer for what they have done. But so will we. And that is important for us to remember. Because if we do not have a relationship with Jesus as our Lord and Savior, we are in trouble. Romans tells us, for all of us make mistakes and are sinners. But if we put our trust in Jesus, he will save us and let us be with him in heaven forever.